Hi everybody. We are going to be doing a new video and we're continuing on with the game of asteroids. Last video we made the ship class. So now we are going to make a bullet class. And in addition to that, we are going to make a game object class so that we can have many, many um, different kinds of objects in our game and all in one one type of thing. I think actually I'll just do the bullet class to start with and then we'll, we'll modify it later. Okay, so let's make a bullet. We'll make a bullet tab and inside will be class bullet. And a bullet's going to have a lot of similar things. A bullet will probably have a lives in the sense that we do want to like kill it. It'll probably just have one life. Um, but you know, eventually bullets will want to um, be removed and such. So, so that'll be good. So you know, let's bring that over. They have location and velocity as well. So I'll copy and paste that over here for its instance variables. Uh, it will also have a constructor, like so. Um, and so its uh, oops, its lives will be set to one. And its location, when it is born, will be set to the ships, uh, x and y. So it will be a new p vector, and it will get uh, my ship dot location dot x, my ship dot location dot y. I think there might be a better way to do that. It looks a little bit ugly, but basically we're getting the ship's location vector, and this will be the x component. This one will be the Y component. And so our location, the bullet's location, will be the same as the ship's location. Uh, next, I will add in a, I guess, the velocity. So the velocity should be basically the same as the spaceship's direction. I'm assuming that the guns on the spaceship are kind of pointing out of its nose. Uh, so we're going to get its direction. So I'll say our velocity will equal or be a new p vector and we'll base that off of the ship's direction. And we'll see this is a little bit problematic, so we'll find a, a solution for making this work really well afterwards. Okay. You might wonder why don't we include the spaceship's velocity? Actually, that's probably not a bad idea if the spaceship is moving and we fire, then it should have some of that movement built into it, but we'll come back to that later. I think that's um, sort of not an advanced topic, but let's focus on the basics first. Okay, we need a void show. We need a void act. And that's not too hard to do. We could put in the movement code. So it's going to be location, add velocity, and our show code will just be in ellipse probably. Um, let's make it um, stroke white, um, no fill, and we'll make it a small ellipse at location.x, location.y, and we'll make it really small, like 10 by 10. That's probably a good number there. And we'll try running that and see what that looks like. Oh, wait, there's no bullets, and I can't, like, make the bullets happen. So there's something missing here. I do have lovely code, and this all this code is, I think, uh, correct for what I want for a bullet. But we don't have any mechanism for creating bullets and uh, storing multiple bullets. So that's the second part of this. We got our bullet class. That's great. Now we need to make some sort of um, list that will store new bullets as they're created. We could put one like we make a ship. We could also make a bullet just to test, but let's not waste time with that. Let's just go and make the correct structure to animate our bullets. So that's going to be a list. So I'm going to make an array list of bullets. I'll call it bullets. And in my constructor, I'll say bullets equals new array list. Bullets. This is the constructor of an array list. 
So what we've done here is we've created a list which, is, which can store many bullets. Each bullet will be numbered with an index. And in the draw function, what we can do is we can loop through the list of bullets and tell each one to show an act. So I can make a loop and I'm trying to remember if we did a while loop before. I think we did while loops before, so I'll put that in. So int i equals zero. Well, i is less than, oh, this is, this is interesting. We have to make it so that uh, we're going from zero to the number of bullets. So how do we know how many bullets are on the list? Well, we just ask the list. We can say, um, oh, and I guess I, I guess I made a mistake there. Uh, sorry, one second. I'm going to change this to my bullets. So I'm going to say um, my bullets dot size. There we go. And then the code that goes to the next bullet is I plus plus. So I is going to represent sort of the variable that is the the identifier of, of which bullet. It starts at bullet zero, then it'll go to bullet one, then bullet two, then bullet three, and so on. If there are no bullets, then this loop won't do anything, which is good because why would we animate bullets if there are none? But uh, as soon as we put bullets into this list, it'll start animating them, starting with the first one and going to the last one. So now I can actually animate my bullets. So the way I do that is I make a bullet variable, bullet B. Uh, and then we can get it out of the list. So my bullets dot get, and then you get I. You get bullet zero, get bullet one, and so on. And then we do b dot show b dot act. And wait, we're still not done because we have no way to put bullets into this list. This list is working hard. This list, a loop is working hard to show all zero of our bullets. So, you know, we actually don't even go into this loop. So what we need to do is add a way to make bullets. And so we'll do that in the ship class. Uh, I'll just add in a new key. It'll be a space key. So we have space key. Uh, what we'll do is we'll say my bullets dot add new bullet. That should be good. Let's run. So let's see if I can shoot bullets. Oh, I did shoot a bullet. It is a very slow bullet. But I can have some fun. <laughs> it's like a spaceship drawing program. I'm not too sure uh, if that's what you had in mind, but it's definitely not what I had in mind. Some of my students enjoyed uh, making trails and trails and trails of bullets. What's the problem here? The bullets aren't moving very fast. And the reason is because direction is actually really small. Um, so when we set velocity to the ship's direction, it's pointing in the right direction. It's just not very, um, it's not very fast. So luckily we can change that without changing direction. We can say velocity dot set mag, which stands for set magnitude. We could set it to like 10 or something, whatever, whatever number you think is appropriate. So now, pew, pew, pew. We can shoot our bullets like crazy. It's a little bit, a little bit excessive in some ways. Uh, we'll have to come back and like reduce the amount of bullets we can fire. I notice the bullets are kind of going off the edge and not going around. So I'll just steal this code here. And I'll bring it over to bullet as well. So now bullets will constantly wrap around. Pew. <laughs> oh wait, but they're infinite, which is um, which is exciting. We can get a lot of bullets going on here. Uh, very dangerous place to be, <laughs> and obviously we're gonna wreck any asteroids. But uh, that's okay. It's proof of concept. Is uh, we're gonna start getting some problems here. <laughs> Crashing is is inevitable. Uh, there's too many bullets. Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed making bullets. I'm gonna stop the video now, and we'll take up on our next video. We're gonna see how we can make a super class for both ship and bullet and asteroid, and we're gonna convert this list of my bullets into my 
game objects. And there'll be just one list that'll keep track of all the game objects, including bullets and all the other good stuff. All right, thanks everybody.